You know, a lot of our videos lately consist of us talking about collectibles. What you gonna do? My name is Mr. 27, welcome back to the channel. So to start off, I wanna let you know, later in this video, we're gonna be talking about some giveaway information. So if you want more information on that, stay tuned for the end of the video. The San Diego Comic-Con has come and gone, and with that, Funko released a lot of exclusives and some shared exclusives uh, that you could pick up, and we actually picked up four of them we're gonna be talking about today. We picked them up through the Funko website, so they're all shared exclusives, and I'll show you what the sticker looks like for the shared exclusive as well. But I'm pretty proud of us, honestly, for picking up just four. We're trying to limit it down to the ones that we really like and actually want, rather than ones that we just kinda like. Um, so I'm proud that we only picked up four. So, to start off, we're going to be talking about the Funko Soda Auto. It's a part of the uh, fantastic plastic series that they have. It's characters that Funko has created themselves. It's their own little figures. Uh, it's limited to 7,500 pieces. And like I said, it's a shared exclusive sticker that you can see right there as well. Uh, and here is the figure itself. Very adorable. Uh, this one is a common, unfortunately. Uh, the, the interesting thing about these Funko Sodas is that there's actually two different chases that you could get. Uh, we weren't able to get not a one. We bought two of these, and we only got uh, commons with these, unfortunately, but it's okay. Uh, which is indicated by the red V-neck? V-neck. No. Turtleneck. V-neck. Turtleneck. It's indicated by... I'm going to call it a turtleneck. Um, it's a red turtleneck. Now, if it was a chase, it would have a yellow or purple one, uh, but this one is a red one, but it's a okay. It's still an awesome figure. Uh, it's got the uh, Funko crown on its chest. Very nice. He's a little mechanic dude wearing a helmet with the number 13 on the front. He's got a wrench in his left hand, some rubber boots, and he's got a magic eight ball in his right hand. Very nice. Now for the next one. It is the San Diego Comic-Con Toucan, which I believe is the mascot for the San Diego Comic-Con. And if not the mascot for the San Diego Comic-Con, it's Funko's mascot for the San Diego Comic-Con. I don't know. I've never been to a Comic-Con. Maybe someday. I would love to go. I just never had the opportunity to go. But they had two different versions of this Toucan that they released at the Comic-Con, uh, but we picked up the pirate one. My wife's a huge fan of the critters, as she put them, and this is a Toucan, so technically it's a critter. Uh, but we picked up the pirate one, and uh, you can tell he's got a nice sword. He's got a whole pirate outfit, a skull, belt buckle, which is pretty cool. And then on the front of his hat, you can see that he's got the San Diego Comic-Con logo, uh, which is pretty awesome as well. The box itself is in pretty good condition. There is some light, like, scuffing or fading. I don't know what you would call it. I would call it kind of scuffing. Uh, but other than that, it's still in pretty darn good condition. Uh, I'm just glad that there's not crazy creasing or anything going on. I would honestly prefer fading or scuffing over like serious creasing or dents or anything. Um, unfortunately, this one doesn't have any. Uh, lately, they've been kind of crazy with shipping things. Um, they've like I've had some stuff arrive kind of damaged, which has been very unfortunate. But fortunately, these all arrived in good condition. The next one, which is the one that I was second most excited about uh, that I picked up was the Purge Trooper. I've been a fan of Star Wars uh, since I was a kid. And uh, some of the ones that I like to collect from the line are going to be the Troopers, the Stormtroopers. I have a lot of different variations of them. And so when I saw that they were releasing this one, I was super excited. Uh, it is red and black. I really like the red visor and the red ac uh, accents that it's got going on. And this was released for the Obi-Wan series that dropped on Disney+. Plus. And if you haven't watched it, you should, totally should. It's a great show. I'm not going to spoil anything for you, but it's a great show. Uh, this one's also a shared exclusive. Like I said, you can tell by the sticker. But overall, the box itself is in a uh, really good condition i don't see really any scuffing things going on i don't see any real fading or anything so i'm pretty pretty happy about that looks very nice and the final one we're going to talk about in today's video which i was most excited about when i saw that they were going to be releasing this i was like i've got to have one because i've been a huge fan of sonic ever since i was a kid like a big big fan of sonic uh, these are the so uh, Supersonic first appearance, and uh, the cool thing about these is that they actually glow in the dark, uh, which I feel like it's one of the few out of the ones that they released for the San Diego Comic-Con that actually have another special feature about them. These glow in the dark. So we're going to attempt to look at that on camera. Uh, the camera's not going to do it real justice, um, but we're going to try our best to highlight what that looks like. Because it is light outside, 
and uh you know we've got the commuter monitor and everything going on here too so but you'll you'll definitely still get a look at how the glow is supposed to look you can tell by the way it's like glowing and then fading right afterwards uh and the interesting thing to talk about with these is that all of the yellow on sonic glows in the dark which is pretty cool i feel like it's pretty true to the to the character and to super sonic um whereas with some of the exclusives they don't it's usually just a small feature that glows in the dark like i've got a glow in the dark like gilgamesh and only like the power in his hand glows which is kind of silly to me like it, and it's supposed to be a chase you figure if it's going to glow in the dark you, you'd want more to be going on rather than just one tiny feature but that's the great thing about the supersonic pop is that all of them all the yellow that you see glows in the dark which is pretty cool now you're probably asking yourself why are there two mr 27 are you finally becoming a scalper the answer is no i would never do that however i put in a lot of effort to try to hunt down a second copy of this supersonic because we are doing a playthrough of Sonic Adventure 2 Battle on the GameCube every Wednesday on Twitch, which is twitch.tv slash Mr27Unbreakable. Um, with that, uh, I put in the work and I, I hunted down an additional one. We picked up this one from the website when it initially released, but I took some time and tried to find this one. And we showed up on the perfect time, too, when we walked into Walmart. Um, they hadn't even put it out yet. It was sitting on a cart in a box, and I was like, that's got to be it. And they opened it up, and lo and behold, it was supersonic. So I picked up an additional one, which is pretty lucky, because had they been on the shelf, they would probably all be gone. People typically buy the entire box of them. They buy the entire set because there's no real limits at Walmart, and they'll resell them on eBay. And so I wanted to pick up an additional one so we can actually do a giveaway of it after we finish our playthrough of Sonic Adventure 2 Battle on the GameCube. So... If you want to join in, definitely follow my Twitch and stay tuned for that giveaway. It'll happen at the end of the playthrough. But as something special for this video, if you subscribe to this channel and you follow my Twitch page and provide proof in the Discord, which will be in the description uh, section down below, just DM me proof, I will send you 500 Unbreaker Bucks, which is our channel currency on Twitch for bragging rights and giveaways. Um, it's essentially channel points. Uh, you'll use these points to pick up raffle tickets to then hopefully win this supersonic pop but that is going to do for this video thank you all so much for watching uh if you want to catch some content live other than the giveaway check me out on twitch it's twitch.tv slash mr 27 breakable like i said we stream tuesday wednesday and friday at 9 p.m est but thank you all for watching if you enjoy the content like the video subscribe to the channel and put in the comment section down below which was your favorite which of these pops that we revealed today was your favorite i want to hear from you thank you all so much for watching and i'll see you again in the next video.